thanks for joining me on Kapow today. No worries. Absolute pleasure. How are you? Yeah, good. Great. The, the film was amazing. You were both great in it. Oh, thank you. Comic and video game fans, they can be quite vocal at times. Was it nice to have such a positive reaction? I just like to connect with the fans, yes. you know, on social media and stuff. It's important for me to be speaking to them, be in person with them and connect with the community, I think. That's important. You've been getting a lot of fan art as well, which is cool. Oh my god, so much fan art. It's amazing. These people are so talented. Some of it honestly makes me cry and I'll send them a message back being like, you're so talented, you know, thank you so much. I love you as a fan, you're great, whatever. And then they're like, you just made my entire week. I'm so happy I might die. And I'm like, that took me five minutes. If I can spread a little joy here and there and the fan art, oh, I'm so, I'm so grateful for it. It's incredible. Josh, you've played a lot of real life Australians. Is the creative process changed when you're playing a comic or video game character? Yeah, I suppose so, well, because the character's really already been created, right? I mean, you know, such that it is in a game. So yeah, it is, it's not like playing an actual person, you know, like Lachlan Murdoch, say for instance, uh, you know, but, but it is like slipping into the shoes of something that is already um, a creation. So you've got to be true to whatever the character, you know, of Kano has become over the years. But at the same time, yeah, I mean, it's, I'm inevitably going to bring some of me into it. That's just going to be impossible to avoid. <laughs> so it's a bit of a mix. It's a bit of a, you find that balance and you hope, you, you know, the fans aren't too um, angry about it. But <laughs> yeah, that, so it's a, it's a, you know, bit of a balancing act. Fight! No Harry Potter, all right? Who's that? No. Cute. Real cute. <laughs> Let's see you try down again. Look! <laughs> That the only move you know, mate. There's a lot of crazy one-liners. You had a bit of free reign with the character. Too it, much. They brought exactly. <laughs> yeah, they probably let me off leash uh, a bit too much. But it was it, that was a great way for me. Improv is always a way for me to find um, my character, and, and that doesn't mean I have to improvise in everything. But it is a way for me to figure out who my character is, and they can always bring it back to the script if and they needed to. But it was hilarious. Oh, yeah. Like being there and in the middle of a scene, and Simon's like, "Go off, Josh," and then he just yeah. goes off, and I'm like, trying to like pick up my weapons and not laugh like oh there is Hilarious. there's a there must be a Kano cut out there that's you know four oh. hours long where oh. just every alternative line but uh yeah look it was fun and and uh, and I thought you know Kano provided a bit of a difference to the to the tone of the rest mm. of the characters so mm. you know hopefully there's the alchemy works uh, oh yeah. yeah speaking of your weapons you had the size one of my favorite yes, Japanese ones yes really oh i love them so i have rubber ones and i have uh, real metal ones the real metal ones are sort of more for twirling when i'm not in close proximity to anybody else and for sort of swinging out of my where they are held and i love that that's one of my favorite moves because you just you know i learned to twirl with real ones that were very very heavy and that you know you get the momentum and then you get the rubber ones and they're all flimsy and it's really hard to do all my tricks. You know, I did my best, but they're an amazing weapon and they look fantastic mm. as well. I think I'm gonna get them tattooed on me. Just the, the classic cool. Molina Psy cross, you know? Yes. Mm. That's great. I'm thinking about getting um, Kano's scars tattooed on me. <laughs> Just as big. I don't care if it affects my career. I don't care. <laughs> this is the role of a lifetime, and I want people to remember. It's who you are. I want people to recognize me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's my dream. Probably not often a first time director gets an opportunity to work on a massive franchise. How, how did that come to be? He put six years of his life into <laughs> battling to get it done. And yeah. I think the first four was before we even started production. Yeah, it was, um, it was a long process. And I'd done video game commercials. Um, this landed on my desk. There was, a, there was some really interesting aspects to it. The idea of being able to bring this really elemental, authentic, beautiful, but brutal set of ingredients together to make this. When I was called for Mortal Kombat by New Line to meet Simon, and, and it was like, okay, I mean, let's see what it is. And it was really the idea that the studio let us come to Australia, where the producer's office offset helped us, you know, 
be able to afford a R rating movie. Well, the great thing about what having Bennett on there was this, just I felt really comfortable because the enormous amount of experience that Bennett has, if you just look at his credits, it's incredible. So when we met, I said to Bennett, look, there's a lot of stuff I don't know that I'm really gonna need you to help me with. Here is tonally exactly where I wanna be and where I wanna go and here are the sort of fundamentals that I'm talking about. And then so it just sort of, I think probably from that moment forward, we, we at least knew straight away what we were getting into. And the guys at New Line were really supportive of, of, of the approach. I'll say I'm very proud of the movie and it, and it isn't since Kill Bill that a film of this action and of this gore was, was incredibly satisfying to make. And I have to be very proud of it because it hasn't been since Kill Bill that we've done, I've done a film like this. Well, I, I heard someone describe it to me the other day as violently fun. Really? Which is pretty I good. think that's a very good description so, of it. I think that's probably, you know, it, it embraces the DNA. I've tried to really embrace the DNA that's inside Mortal Kombat and to elevate it, to amplify it. Uh, you know, you look at what Ben Wolfish has done with the music. He did this forensic study on that original song and took melodies and pulled it apart and then rebuilt it for this epic cinematic scale. So I just really wanted to move this into a space that's not really been seen and felt before to, to become its own new, new thing. So that's what I'm hoping people will feel. Thank you so much. It's been great talking to you. No worries. Thank you. Get over here! Support your local cinema and check out Mortal Kombat.